Now, mm -hmm. idiot don't get why I'm saying I don't know why Mary Bell's mother mm -hmm. died or not. Right. Who are you to tell me that? Right. Sounds like you're checking up more on my ex's mother than I am. Right. And that's why she's my ex. I let it go. Right. Now, I know her mother's name is Maria. Right. I told you that before, too. Right. Her dad's name was Miles Mitchell. <laughs> Senior. He has a son with her mother. Right. And Jane is her sister. Right. And Bart and Steve are the two guys around her at the time, she says. Right. 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 We're together from February of 95 till August of... Or September of 96, right? And like I said, I don't know what's going on the girl. She's just messing with me in my mind, right? She's either trying to spite someone. She wants to sex with me. Because she keeps having sex with me. <laughs> Until I said, well, I'm in Georgia now. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> and I meet a girl named Michelle, kind of, right? Like I said, I'm not lying, but I'm not really worried about what we did in September either, right? But we did get caught in the motel, right? <laughs> and her, I saw her mom again and her sister because they took some of my stuff to a storage unit and they gave it back to me, right? Stuff like that, right? Now, I'm not telling you this because I know anything more about Mary Bell. This is what I remember, silly. <laughs> I ain't seen her since 96 either, right? We talked on the phone, yes. When she called me and told me about Patrick, yes, yes. But ain't heard from her since either, right? Sent her a little money, right? To help with divorcing Scott, maybe get a bus or a plane ticket here, right? That's about it. That's about it. <laughs> Does that sound like a bad person to you? Or a person who was told a confusing story but wanted to help out anyway, right? And then she had like she wanted to divorce the man too. She was with now, right? Because she had miscarried his child, right? And that's all she I really know she told me. Now, a testimony don't mean... What happened in the past, you forget, right? It means you confess it as something Jesus brought you through to make you learn from a lesson from it, too. too. Now, all I can do is say, I don't know, right, by what she told me, if I got her pregnant or not, but only the guy she's married to can request a DNA test to find out, right? Not me, not you. <laughs> right, right. See, my name ain't on the birth certificate. His is, right. So again, he would know and she would know before I would know. Mm -hmm. And guess where they're at, Philadelphia, New York? Guess where I'm at? Same place, right? <laughs> Garden City, Georgia. <laughs> I know. I think I just moved into the apartment, too, right? Around the time she called me, right? I was living on Main Street still. I'm not sure which, right? It's about the same time. Within a few years, they were trying to buy the apartments I was living in anyway. They were trying to buy that land. The ports were. Mm -hmm. And things like that, right? See, life goes on without Mary Bell. <laughs> life goes on without Scott. Life goes on without anyone, right? <laughs> But I was never obsessed with her, even though I dreamed of a woman who looked like her. The coincidences we had, and she told me about her life, and they just happened to be coincidental. Her and my dad were both born on July 3rd. You can't change that. Right. Ever. Though, she was born in the Philippines. Right. Where it's a day ahead. Right. Kind of, kind of. Depending on how you travel. Mm -hmm. If you travel... West to east, right? They were born both on July 3rd, but my dad was born in, you know, somewhere around Sardis, right? Or wherever. Uh, Grandpa V and Grandma now Kent, right? Because she divorced Grandpa Lee and married Mr. Kent. Mr. Kent. <laughs> 
And again, right. <laughs> this sounds normal though, don't it? Right. Like I'm telling you something that might be in your own family. <laughs> you might have to deal with yourself, right. But someone is acting like they're so messed up, right. They don't know normal. <laughs> They don't know what I'm saying is true or why. Or, uh, it comes from the Bible. Mm -hmm. See, people are read the Bible, but exotically, right? But the Bible also says if you don't believe Jesus and God can't help you, mm -hmm. that's the problem too. <laughs> at all, at all. Because <laughs> then you're letting Satan be your guide, right? And that's the warning from God and Jesus. Don't listen to Satan, right? He's trying to trick you into doing good and evil with him, right? And he's the one, Jesus, who showed you good until you sinned with Satan in day seven, right? Hello, right? Yet Adam lived in the day he ate thereof 930 years in addition to, right? After he ate, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of tree mm -hmm. slowly kills you over a thousand years if you eat of its fruit? Zero? But mm -hmm. we know there's a killer out there called STD. <laughs> Sexually transmitted disease. And it can kill you over a 930 year period. I bet. <laughs> and shame you that you had sex with it. <laughs> But biting into a piece of apple, how can you know you're naked? <laughs> Maybe cramming a banana up your butt <laughs> will be carnally 